Today, I will recap a sci-fi horror movie called, Annihilation. Spoilers ahead. Three years prior, a meteoroid landed inside a lighthouse on the coast of the southern United States, and is gradually expanding its boundaries, forming a bubble dome called Shimmer. Jenny is a university professor teaching biology. Her husband Peter, a Green Beret soldier, was part of an earlier expedition entering the Shimmer. After a year of absence, Peter reappears at their home, unable to explain where he was or how he came back. His condition quickly deteriorates and Ginny calls an ambulance, but they are intercepted by security forces and taken to a top-secret U.S. government facility with intensive care. A government psychologist, Dr. Emma, shows Ginny the shimmer and explains that many exploratory teams have entered it, but only Ginny's husband, Peter, has ever returned. Emma convinces Ginny to join her newly formed female expedition to enter the Shimmer to discover what happened to her husband back in there. Later, Emma prepares to lead the new scientific expedition into the Shimmer with another four women, consisting of Ginny, physicist Rose, geomorphologist Jiso, and paramedic Lisa. The group enters the Shimmer, and Ginny has a vision of her past affair with a colleague, which occurred prior to Peter's disappearance. Jenny's colleague had put his big bamboo inside her body to give her a dumb stick massage. Jenny's moan was echoing in her room. When the group awakens in their tents, they find that their communications and navigation equipment no longer function, approximately three to four days have passed, and they do not remember anything after entering the shimmer. They encounter mutated plants and animals, and Rose is attacked by an albino alligator with rows of shark-like teeth, but luckily Rose survives. At an abandoned military base, they find a video message from Peter's expedition, showing Peter trying to perform field surgery on another soldier's abdomen only to find his intestines moving on their own. The group finds the soldier's corpse, now appearing to have mutated into an overgrown colony of lichens, given how the organs are spread. At night, the base is attacked by a mutant bear that drags Jiso away, and Jenny later finds Jiso's mutilated remains. Reaching an abandoned village, they discover plants that have taken on human-like forms. Rose theorizes that the shimmer functions as a prism for any kind of information, including DNA, distorting and transforming everything within its boundaries, and that the group is already beginning to mutate. Lisa, overcome with paranoia after watching the patterns of her fingerprints change, ties up the others and accuses Ginny of murdering Jiso. The bear lures Lisa away by emitting a cry for help in Jiso's voice, then comes into the room and menaces the women. An injured Lisa shows up and shoots the bear, the bear kills her by tearing her jaw off. Rose frees herself and shoots the bear dead. Emma, who has terminal cancer and is determined to learn the truth behind the shimmer before she dies, leaves alone for the lighthouse. Rose and Ginny realize that the Shimmer's refractions are already inside their bodies, Rose shares her opinion that Jiso's dying mind was refracted into the bear, and wanders off, while her body transforms into plant matter. Ginny, believing that Peter deliberately accepted the suicide mission into the Shimmer, because she cheated on him, reaches the lighthouse and discovers his remains and another video message. In the footage, Peter tells the man filming to find Jenny and commits suicide with an incendiary grenade, the other man is revealed to be an alien doppelganger who assumed Peter's identity. Jenny descends into the hole created by the meteor and finds Emma, who reveals that the forces behind the shimmer will spread to encompass everything. Emma then disintegrates into a glowing nebulous structure that absorbs a drop of blood from Jenny's face, creating a humanoid entity that mimics Jenny's motions. Unable to escape the entity as it mirrors her, Ginny hands it one of her phosphorus grenades, and the humanoid transforms into an identical copy of Ginny. Ginny activates the grenade and flees from the lighthouse, but the creature does not follow. Set ablaze by the grenade, the creature affectionately touches Peter's burned body before crawling back into the hole and igniting the core of the lighthouse. Ginny watches as the constructs of the shimmer collapse and it fades away. After returning as the sole survivor of the female expedition, Ginny is questioned by an interviewer, he asserts that the Shimmer would have ultimately destroyed everything. Ginny expresses her disagreement, arguing that the Shimmer was actually trying to create something, presumably new life forms through the information prism. She takes a drink from a glass of water, 
When she puts the glass down, droplets on the side move sideways and merge with each other. The interviewer reveals that Peter has physically recovered and is lucid again after the shimmer vanished. Ginny visits him and asks if he is really Peter, he replies, I don't think so. He asks if she is Ginny, and she does not answer. Peter embraces Ginny and the irises in their eye shimmer. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and share, click the bell button to get notifications. Shameless Sis will bring good luck to your life in the next 30 days. See you next time.